Hi, and welcome to the project presentation by the Projects Projects team. We're going to talk to you about your Neuromatch Academy project presentations. So, first, you're going to have to do a presentation that says, what question did you study? What data set did you use? How did you approach the problem? And maybe, did you get an answer? Finally, who did the work? Now, what's required is three slides, you can have more if you want, and a description of your project. What's not required is results. However, we would like you to record a three to five minute video describing your project and the results or experience. You can upload it to any hosting site and you'll provide that video link along with the required PDF of your slides with the project submission form. Now, our what question. How did we match mentors to projects? Well, the first thing we realized is our primary constraint was the schedule. The Neuromatch Academy project times were scattered throughout an entire day, and we had to match mentors times to project group times. Okay, so which was the data set that we worked with? We had more than 350 mentors that they provided for us the, their availability, the time slots over different days of the week that they can, they can spend mentoring, mentoring you. So we had a distribution of mentor times across different time zones. And at the same time, we also had a distribution of projects that you submitted the, the, at the end of the first week. So we needed to work with these two, these two data sets. How do we do it? Well, Zhe Li formulated the problem as a min flow max cost, uh, sorry, min cost max flow problem, where you have a flow from projects to time slots to mentors. The projects have some available times designated by links that are available. Uh, mentors have some available schedules, again, designated by links, and you can assign those edges different costs. And the goal is to find a set of a flow from projects to mentors that go through the fewest number of links and make sure that everybody is covered. Um, we also try to weight the edges by a, an affinity between the mentors and the data sets that the projects were using. And we weighted those edges and that affected the flow. So our results in this case are plotted here. Note that the Y axis is a log scale and the first round of successful matching was done automatically, and we matched almost all of the mentors. Not quite, but almost all of the mentors to projects. Then we had to fix up, because of our data set problems, a few matches manually, and in the end we did seven rounds of matching. So what were the, the, the problems that we encountered? So the thing is that uh, Eric said we, our first match worked, but not really. The first couple of iterations of the algorithm actually didn't converge, so we had to run them again. And then some of the, when we got the matches, we sent out the emails and we realized that, oh, some of the matches are wrong. Mentors, maybe mistakenly, they, they uh, entered wrong uh, time slots. And so we needed to, to uh, do some matches manually. Another thing was that we were working with very messy data sets, meaning that we were um, 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 acquiring information from the, from the mentors over a couple of months in different platforms, Google Forms, Qualtrics, uh, Airtables. So we needed to clean them manually and aggregate all the data. And then uh, also we, we needed to deal with uh, a huge number of emails whenever we were contacting new students or mentors, we were receiving a lot of uh, uh, emails back that something was not working properly. So we needed again to manually tweak and adjust parameters in order to get a kind of acceptable match at the end. For future work, we would like to optimize this process of doing mentor matching for future years of Neuromatch Academy. But for you, the future work is to figure out when to present your work and when to upload the information about it. That's going to happen on the last day of Neuromatch Academy. So before the content begins on your time zone, uh, you should turn in the projects through the form we provide. That is, upload the slides and provide us with a link to the videos, uh, if you have any videos. And then after a few hours of doing the content, you will have group presentations uh, where you will talk uh, where you'll have about three projects within a group 
and you'll present your work, present your slides, maybe play your video and have a short discussion and then switch over. After about 45 minutes of that, you'll say farewell to your pod briefly, and then we'll have some wrap up and at the whole Neuromaps scale within uh, the whole time zone. And that will include hopefully some project highlights where we will put up on screen some of your slides. So the final slide that we have here is the most important one. That is who was doing the work. And this is our project team. A lot of amazing people put in a lot of hard hours to make this possible. So thank you all and thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.